this. Look at this. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again, and like many other BG songs, I don't know this one, guys. Jive talking, taking it back to 1975. We'll be taking a look at the official video made possible by you guys and Patreon. Um, believe it or not, first time ever. Never heard it. Never heard it. So this is gonna be—I'm gonna be brand new to this, and I can't wait because apparently it's one of their big ones, one of their big ones of many, of many. Um, and I love this BG's run that I'm on now, and I'm not gonna stop, guys. I'm not gonna stop. So let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I love to hear feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me, both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. seconds in 30 seconds in and so much has happened so much has happened with this first part of the song the hook the hook of the song and not only that the instrumentation with strings i mean talk about those thumping sounds um kind of like almost emulating i mean they're, they're drums right i mean they have to be drums the drums and percussions responsible dennis bryan but that scratching of the of the guitar, which is also nice, uh, courtesy of Morris, guys, Morris, with bass, with bass too. Oh my God! I mean, these guys are masters, masters, masters of, of, of and what they do. Much like Abba, much like Abba, um, they they find a bottle down the ro down the road or, or something. They they break it and it just sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. They, they'll find anything, and they'll just turn it into instrumental gold, and that's what it is. Unbelievable. Sounding good right off the bat. And catchy with the, the little whispering, the whispering of vocals um, by these three fabulous brothers. Oh, God. Let's rewind a little bit because it looks like they're going to get into the first verse. And I just pause it right before it. Oh. You really know There's the medley. There's the medley. Catchy again. Catchy as always. Catchy, catchy, catchy. Jeff talking. Uh, da, 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 da. So good. So good. Already. By the way, there was some distortion there with audio. I wonder what happened. Like an in and out type of thing happened. Um, it was like clear and then it like faded out and then it came back in. Um, I'm not using the YouTube version, guys. I don't want it to get blocked. So there you have it. But these guitars... These guitars, guitars, guitars. Barry with uh, with rhythm guitar, and also Morris with rhythm guitar, um, and then Alan, Alan Kendall with electric guitars and steel guitars. So very stringy indeed. And that bass, who's fiddling the heck out of that? Uh, Morris is. He's fiddling the heck out of that. Um, oh my child, you'll never know just what you mean to me. Oh my child, you got so much. You're gonna take it. Manage. It's all about delivery. All about delivery. And that's that's how they're doing it. They do a great job with it. That's 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 why they're so good guys. Holy crap, Derek Reacts Approved coming at you. This is only a 30, a 2 minute 52 second song, and I couldn't wait till the end. That's how good it is. Short and sweet, this thing packs a punch. Packs a punch, guys. This hook is sick. 
And yes, I said it. It is sick. With all your loving, all your drive talking, you're telling me lies. Yeah, good loving. Still gets me in my eyes. Nobody believes that what you say. It's just your drive talking that gets my way. Oh my. So 70s um, with sound. Very, very funky. Funky. What was that 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 um that thing I reacted to, that band? KC and the Sunshine Band, I think it was. Um, it's reminding me a little bit of, of like those very funky type of uh, vibes very interesting but the, man that in intermittent solo there with the with the guitars and the keyboards who's on keyboards uh blue weaver keyboards and synths magic guys magic oh, let's continue guys i'm gonna lose my pants my pants will be lost oh. It's groovy, it's dancey, you just want to get up and dance. Um, it's feel good. This is this is what this is what real music is, guys. That hook is second, and then what what happens? They switch it up again. They switch it up again. Um, everything kind of like silences in, in, in to a certain degree, and then you hear the little the claps. I mean, just that little thing, that little thing they throw in there, making it all the difference. Um, climatic indeed, climatic indeed. You weren't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. Guitar solo, slay, keyboard solo. Now we have this intermittent pause with this. I'm so excited, guys, so excited. Oh, and it's just that hook, that hook, that's the part. Um, Cause there's no there's no chorus in the song. There's no chorus. It's just it's just verses and then the hook and that's all it is. Very short and sweet and simplistic and everything just sounds great. There's the synth. Oh, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Ah, oh, I wish it was longer. I think they have a longer version. They have to. <laughs> they have to have a longer version, guys. It's a, this is a short version, I think. Two minutes and fifty seconds song. Song. It can't be. It can't be just two minutes. It can't be just two minutes and fifty seconds song. I mean, these guys are amazing. They're, do they have one bad apple? Do they have one bad apple? I mean, is it possible? Is it possible that they have one bad apple um, in their collection, collection of songs, and and hits? I mean, these these guys have been doing music for a long for the longest for the longest. Short and simplistic guys with lyrical content. This thing is driven, driven by catchy, medley, catchy um, vocals. Uh, with all of them singing there, uh, there really, really is no lead vocalist either, too. I think they're all just like sing, singing together. Um, at least that's what I noticed. I mean, they always pan the camera to Barry a lot. Um, I noticed that. But uh, the sounds, the sound just win this. The sounds win this most definitely, most definitely. And how did this thing come up, come, come together? Um, I'll, I'll read you a little story. You guys probably know already. Um, the recording for Jive Talking took place on January 30th and the 2nd of February 1975. The scratchy guitar that you hear there was done by Barry and the funky bass line was by Morris. And there you have it. It's the funky bass line. That thing is completely sick. It's completely sick. Um, God, he's such a good bassist. Such a good bassist. And the rhythm was modeled after a sound of their car made crossing the Jive Turkey uh, Causeway uh, each day from Biscayne Bay to uh, Criteria Studios um, in Miami. I've been on. I've been. I've been that. Um, I've been in that that uh, that bay, Bis Biscayne Bay. I've been there. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, very nice sights and stuff in Miami. But uh, inspiration, guys. Look at that. A car. A 
car. That's where you get it from. That's where you get it. Oh, this, this, this sounds, sounds, sounds interesting. Creative geniuses, guys. Creative geniuses. The pulsating synthesizer bass line, which features the final recording, was along the pioneering work of Stevie Wonder, uh, one of the earliest uses of the synth bass on the pop recording. And there you have it. It was overdubbed by keyboardist Blue Weaver using a state-of-the-art ARP2600. Oh, my God. I love it. I love machines like that. Um, which the producer uh, RF Martin had brought into the recording studio on the main course album. Weaver stated, usually Morris would play bass guitar, but he was away from the studio that night. And when Morris came back, um, we let him hear it, and he suggested a re-record the bass line on his bass guitar, and I really like the synth bass line, Morris said. I overdubbed certain sections with, with an, to add a bass with extra emphasis. Freaking believable. There you have it. Um, and it's just so good. So good. It's very, uh, how do you call it? Like the, the delivery and how they, how they execute it and um, how it's sung. Uh, very, very short and sweet. And, it's, and, it's, uh, and it has the same formula um, according to some, some other, other legends and are the other artists. David Bowie's changes. Elton John's Beanie and the Jets. Bob Seger's uh, Karamandu. There you have it. And even the Who's My Generation. It's called it's called stuttering. It's a stuttering song when you when they sing like that. Ah, ah, ah. Somebody um uh on my um one of my followers on in the comments below uh to another video said that I, I make too much noises, oohs and ahs and oohs and ahs and I should stop. Uh, what do you guys think? You guys do you guys like that when I do that? I just get into it. I get into it. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. So uh, there you have it. There you have it. Unbelievable. How did this is doing the charts? It reached the top five in the UK singles chart in the middle of 1975, and it was largely recognized as the group's comeback song. It was the first US top 10 hit, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, in 1971. Um, and it was the lead single from the main courses album uh, from 1997, Saturday Night Fever. I know that one, guys. I know that one. And it hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Amazing, amazing guys, amazing. 1970s, and look how this thing still stands today. That's what you call good music, guys, good music. When music ages well, it lasts a lifetime. I've said that before. Until next time, for more videos like these, guys, please leave your comments and suggestions down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Take care. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all of the distraction videos. And, guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.